Hi, I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist. And the question I got asked is, what's a good way to manage work tasks on my Google Calendar? And I've got some really good ideas that I'm going to share in this video. Now, for me, because of the way my business is set up, it's my own business, I manage my own schedule, no one else tells me what to do, I put it all, and this is my testing calendar, but I put it all on my calendar, no matter what it is. If I have to take my car out to get repaired, it's on my calendar, which also happens to be my business calendar. If I have a staff meeting, I, it's on my calendar. If I gotta go uh, yoga, all, uh, and, and anything that I have to do, if I have to produce videos, it's on my calendar, another staff meeting. For me, I put them all on as events. I hit the plus and I do an event. Or I highlight the area I want to put it in and I then I hit select event, which by default is select the event and I give it a title and set it up as an event on my calendar, no matter what the event is. However, you may want to manage your calendar a little differently if this is your personal calendar and you want to put some business events on there, then you could do one of two things. You could use the task option and put tasks on here that are business related. Or what you could do is create a whole nother calendar that overlays on this calendar. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I go right here and hit the plus, I can create a new calendar. I could call this work activity. Give it a name. This is for the job and then create it. Eastern time, create calendar, owned by me. Yeah, let's do that. And now when I come back to my Google Calendar, which by the way, this works way better when you're accessing your Google Calendar through Google Chrome in a web browser, way better. But there it is right there, work activity. So now in work activity, I could take the staff meeting right here, I could edit that because it's really work related and move it out of that one over into work activity and save it. I could take produce new videos off of my main calendar, edit it, go over here and change the calendar from BCI testing to work activity and save it. So now those events are in the work activity calendar and I can, and they overlay my main calendar. Look, watch happens. I turn it off. They're gone. So I can, I can see them or not see them at any time I want. And again, anytime I get ready to put something on my calendar, however I'm getting ready to put it in my calendar, I need to cho choose which calendar to put it on so it is in the right calendar so I can manage it the best. And I can put in here and save that. And again, it's on my calendar, but it's in the work what's called sub or secondary calendar so that I can keep track of what what it, what the task, who the task is for, me or the job. One more feature that may be worth considering, and that is when you put events on your calendar that are related to a specific area of your life, maybe the job or maybe your workout or maybe your volunteer, then code them appropriately. Staff meeting, what you could do is put down here in the description, hashtag job. And all the ones that are job related, the, well, you can then easily go find them, hashtag job, by doing a search in your calendar for hashtag job. And those, all of those items that you put the hashtag job, any code, but something you wouldn't normally type using it for coding purposes, they'll show up in a search. So you'll be able to find all of those events. Sometimes I put my little code in the meeting area too, or in the, the, the name, but put, putting it down in the description is a good way to hide it off your calendar so it doesn't clutter your calendar. up. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. I hope these ideas can be helpful for you.